Hello folks. Well, many of you saw a recent video of mine that I showed how I made a retractable landing gear system for my Lotus T580 quadcopter to get the landing gear out of the camera view. If you're an airborne photographer, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, it seems that since my Blade, Walkera 350, and DJI quads all carry cameras, they don't have a whole lot of clearance underneath when the cameras are installed. So you need a big landing gear in order to protect your equipment when you land. And those birds also didn't come with any extra plug for camera tilt channel, or in my case, a landing gear. Well, my AeroSky 550 here is not GPS controlled, and I do have the extra channel, so I don't need to use it with my self-contained system, however. So that said, I decided to make my own camera platform with its own complete self-contained landing gear system. This allows me to get the gear out of the way of the camera. You know, when I saw DJI had come out with the landing gear set up for their flame wheel, I got it. And as you can see, there's plenty of room for the camera equipment. It also shows quite a bit. You know, this bird is one of my favorites. It has no GPS, and I'm flying just plain flying. Well, probably many of you saw me uh, fly this right into my DJI Phantom uh, without the landing gear on it that day uh, when I was trying to fly two of them at the same time. It's a uh, was really something. <laughs> anyway, the uh, landing gear on this allows a lot of room for putting uh, camera equipment on. But again, it's hanging way down in camera view, unless you got a camera way out there, and then of course it vibrates. The only real way is to what? Well, this seemed like a good bird to use for my project. I'm just going to show you some of the pictures of what I did to make this complete unit. You should have no problem figuring out what I did. If you do, then you probably shouldn't be flying camera quads. <laughs> well, there's all kinds of quad plates that are already wired and you can get those. I have an extra one for my AeroSky, so I decided to use that. It's now going to be the base for all my quads, containing the receiver, battery, and retract system. Well, as you can see, I'm running this off the power from the onboard BEC on the bird. That's not the ideal way, but it is how I first tested it. I'm going to show you how I made my own onboard power supply for the whole unit in a minute. Well, needing only a simple one-channel radio to run the gear, I'm actually using a four-channel receiver so I can add actually three more channels, like camera, tilt, angle, etc., not just the gear, since the camera mount is also on the unit. I personally don't need camera tilt. I've had it, I tried it, gimbal, gyro, everything, but Perfect. I can watch my planes flying actually pretty good at flying over where I want to take the picture. That's probably the old fashioned way, but I like to watch my planes fly. Well, next I installed five inch long carbon fiber rods for the landing gear, and I used wire nuts for the feet. The landing gear mechanics have set screws in them to hold the landing gear wires in place, or in my case, the CF rods. And as you can see, they're plenty tough. Well, all I gotta do is put the, uh, my homemade uh, little my transmitter here in a case, and uh, otherwise it all looks like it's working. Gear down. Gear up. I didn't have time to drive an hour to Radio Shack for a battery box, so I made my own from an old Hobby Zone transmitter. You know, small lipos, etc. would work, but I hate charging, and this will run a long time like this. The reason I put this battery pack on here is one, I can take this whole unit and put it on all of my quads now and uh, make it work independent of any transmitter, how many channels you got or whatever. 
Uh, it's totally independent. The reason that I did this is because if you have electric retracts and your BEC, that's the battery eliminator circuit in your radio, is not strong enough to uh, run all four of these at once, they won't go up and down all at the same time. So uh, you guys that can't get your retracts, your electric retracts to sequence, it's because you don't have enough voltage. I like these $10 uh, Nitro Plains retracts. First of all, when you turn the power on, okay, it takes like 15 seconds. So if you have a radio that uh, glitches and the retracts go back and forth on you when you least expect it when you turn the radio on, see this has a timer built in, nothing's going to work. Okay, so now we've got it set up. Let's go ahead and flip the switch a couple times and I'll show you. Okay guys, well you know I'm a pincher. I have a whole lot more control than the old shaky thumb thing when I'm flying a helicopter upside down. You know I have total control and I can drop the stick so that's the advantage of being a pincher. The disadvantage of being a pincher is that you have a hard time reaching any toggle switch up here that's up here. Uh, it's easy to feel which way it is if you're holding your hand but if you're not you need something that you can reach so I built this little onto my uh, remote transmitter here I built this little switch right here up so I can put this on any transmitter Well, thanks so kindly for watching all year, folks, and I do hope you subscribe for next year's projects. That's going to include seeing how this retract unit works on my Blade 350, my WKQR 350, and the DJI Phantom 350. So please stay tuned, and Happy New Year.